Question 21. So the points A, B and C lie in, in order on a straight line. So here we go A, B and C. And we're told that the coordinates for A is 2, 5, B is 4 and P and C is Q and 17. Now we're also told that AC, the length AC is 4 times uh, bigger than uh, AB. So we have the length AB, we times it by 4 to get AC. So we have two similar triangles here. So our smaller triangle going from A to B with the hypotenuse, let's call that base X and its height Y. Whereas the bigger triangle, which is four times big, let's call the base of the triangle with the hypotenuse AC, let's call the base 4X and the height 4Y. So let's start off by trying to figure out P. Now, so we need to work out what this height here is and then add that to 5 and that would tell us what the y coordinate p is so uh, how do we work out this height here well it's we've got similar triangles here and we know that this bigger triangle here has got a height of 4y and that height is from 5 to 17 okay 5 to 17 so this height here is 12 4y equals 12 so y equals 3. This height here is 3. So p is 3 further up than 5. 5 add 3 equals 8. So the coordinates of b are 4, 8. p equals 8. Now, with regard to them moving on to finding out uh, the coordinate for q, we know that... Um, uh, the base of this smaller rectangle is a length of 2 because we're going from A with an X coordinate of 2 to B with a, an X coordinate of 4. So we know this length here is 2, so therefore this length here must be 4 lots of 2 which is 8. So Q is 8 further along than A with a coordinate 2, 5. So looking at the X coordinate, uh, Q must be um, 10 because we've got 2 plus a length of 8, which is 10. So we've got P equaling 8 and Q equaling 10.